This video lesson is part of my video course that teaches how to deploy Spring Boot microservices on AWS Elastic Container Service. Before we start deploying our Spring Boot application to Amazon Elastic Container Service, it's good to become a little bit familiar with what is ECS cluster, what is ECS service, and what is ECS task. And in this lecture, I'll give you a brief introduction to these ECS features. Let's say that we have a Spring Boot application that we want to deploy to Amazon Elastic Container Service. Now, for this application to run in Elastic Container Service, we will build a Docker image for it so that we can run it in a Docker container. To run this Docker container, we will need to tell ECS how much compute resources we think is required. For example, how much CPU and how much memory is required to run this Docker container. And we specify this information in a task definition. ECS will then use this task definition to instantiate a new task that will run our Docker container. Now, sometimes we need to run more than one application in a task. This can be application that is used to support the work of our microservice. So we can create a task definition that will instantiate more than one application in a single task. And for microservices that are responsible for different domain models, we will need to create separate task definitions. Now, a task can run an application that executes one time only and then quits right away. Or you can use a task to run Spring Boot microservice, that is a web service that needs to be always running and always available. But it is possible that our application can fail and stop. And to help us start up application automatically, if it fails, we can create ECS service. We can configure this ECS service to run and maintain a specific number of tasks simultaneously. So if we need to make sure that there are always at least two instances of our application running, we can configure ECS service to do that. And if one of our tasks fails or stops, Amazon ECS service will automatically start up a new task to replace the one that has failed. Now, we can also run our service behind a load balancer, and the load balancer will then distribute traffic between multiple running tasks that are managed by the service. If you have several different microservices to deploy, then you will create a separate services to manage those different microservices. And to group multiple services into a logical group, we will create ECS cluster. So Amazon ECS cluster is a logical grouping of tasks or services, and your tasks and services are run on infrastructure that is registered to a cluster. All right, so now that you're familiar with what is a task, what is a service, and what is a cluster, it will be easier in the following lectures when we actually start creating them. All right, so let's continue. 